You've probably seen a bunch of videos popping up about this AI band called Velvet Sundown. Because of those videos, I got inspired to make my own AI band. So I'm going to show you how to make your own AI band. The entire process from the concept to the band pictures to making the actual music and making it sound consistent. And we're going to be doing this using Suno AI. This is my AI band called Artificial Heart. It's like Mayday Parade, but a tad bit more electronic. And just listen how it has the same singer in everything. Hope you beat a bus head on it. I'm just a shattered glass. So when creating an AI band, the very first thing you need to do is just come up with a concept. For instance, uh, Artificial Heart is a combination of pop punk and electronic pop. That's like the whole thing. So just get a good idea in your head. You have to make it like physical, like tangible. And you can talk back and forth with ChatGPT to give you ideas if you want, or if you're just trying to make money from it, you know, you can do some research and figure out what would be a genre that would be the most profitable. Let's go ahead and make an AI band right now. So I'm gonna come up with a concept and a genre. Let's say the name of this band is Drooling Monkey. Yeah, that's a good name. Thanks, Dad. We want them to be indie rock experimental inside of suno i'm gonna go to a new workspace and just call this drooling monkeys and this is just to keep everything organized we're just gonna go to chat gpt and i'm just gonna ask chat gpt i'm making an ai band called drilling monkeys i want them to be an indie rock slash experimental band i want them to sound similar to the gorillas give me a prompt that i can put into suno that does not mention any band names because you can't do prompts that include band names in suno that looks like a good prompt to me but i'm just going to put that into the style description and we're going to change the lyrics to auto so i'll just call this drilling monkeys test so basically you just want to prompt enough until you get a song that you really like because that one song is going to be the seed for the rest of your band's songs. So let's listen to what Suno made with our prompt. Goes, bounce back, bounce back. That works for me. So I'm just going to hit the dislike button on the rest of the songs. Yeah. That way it just keeps the project nice and organized because once you start generating a lot of stuff, it can get confusing really quick. Now that you have your band, save this prompt somewhere. You can save it with Suno and save it in your notepad, save it somewhere because this is now your band. This is your band's sound. Now to get it to be consistent across different songs, you click persona and then do create new persona. Persona is basically just going to tell Suno to take the information from a song you choose and use that information to guide the style for the rest of the songs. So that way it's like a consistent band sound. So we're going to use this one. You can create a name. For some reason, it usually doesn't let me create a name until after I've already made it and then I can go back and edit it. So we'll just save that. And you can choose whether or not to have it public. I like to have mine private. I don't want people stealing the music that I stole with Suno. <laughs> So then you just select this persona. Okay, so now we've got our Drooly Monkeys persona. Now you can just tell it to write about different things. A song about finding a black hole in your shoes. Basically for my album that has 13 songs on it, I created 107 songs to get that 13. Because one thing you learn when making human music is that you have to write a lot of shit to get the good shit. If you care about the quality and the taste of it, it's really good just to make a bunch of stuff. You'll have a lot to choose from and you can delete everything except the ones you like. It's like Suno is creating the actual music for you, but whenever you're making this band, what's going to make it what it is, is your input, like your taste and what you like. Suno is making it, but you're deciding what makes it onto the label. So now we have a consistent sound. All you have to do is just keep making shit. You can change up the prompts in here, the style description, and it'll still stay pretty consistent. And you can just make different songs about different shit. And then after I've made a bunch of stuff, I'll listen to it and I'll just thumbs up everything that I like and I'll thumbs down everything I don't. So it's nice and organized and I only have what I like in there. And I like to be brutal in this process and be really decisive about what stays and what leaves. Once you have a bunch of songs that you like, uh, just go to here and 
click download and you want to get a wave audio file you want to download a wave because that's going to sound better when you start uploading them places but once you have all your sounds downloaded you want to master them so they'll be nice and loud for streaming services whenever you're uploading to spotify you do not want the waveform to look like this because it's going to sound quiet in comparison to other songs out there so you really want to make sure that it's like at least sort somewhat competitively loud. If you don't have FL Studio or Ozone, you can use things like Mixia from DistroKid. SoundCloud has a AI mastering thing. You can use um, Lander. So there's a bunch of options, but the point is just to master it. The very last thing you need to do is just create a band logo and create some band pics. For my band, Artificial Heart, these are their band pictures. ChatGPT isn't the best at image generation, but it's, it's pretty good. There's the logo. But yeah, you can prompt it anything. Just be like, this is the style of the band. Generate me a logo. Drilling monkeys. They are an experimental indie rock band with a sound close to 21 Pilots and the Gorillas. I'll tell ChatGPT to give me ideas for prompts that I can give it to make the picture because it just always seems to do better when I tell it my idea for the image than I tell it to give me a prompt for it. And it'll usually generate better images. Jesus loves you, bro. Thanks, Aiden. He loves you too. I'm just kidding. He talked to me yesterday. He said he doesn't love you. He only loves me. So then it gives me a bunch of different prompts. Let's just go with a gorilla style. Make this image. Copy and paste. And then after the image is created, I'll show you how I distribute music. So you can get it on places like Spotify, YouTube, all that shit. But except for the text, that image is actually pretty cool. And then you want to just describe what you want the members of your band to look like. Scraggly young dudes with uh, shirts with birds on them. Create a uh, band picture for them. Then that way you can like uh, get ChatGPT to make a band picture and then you can edit that image or use that image as a seed over and over again so you have consistent characters with all your band members. There's our band members and then you can tell it to get rid of the text and then you can tell it to put them in different environments doing different things and for the most part it'll stay pretty consistent. Once you've got all your assets you've got the band pics you've got the logo and you have an album or a few songs ready to go now it's time for distribution. I use DistroKid. You can use whatever you want. DistroKid is paid. It's like $20 a year. So I'm not going to go through an entire tutorial on how to upload stuff on DistroKid. But a distributor is basically just a place where you upload your music and then it sends it out to every streaming thing. And before you go, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So let me know in the comments what type of content you want to see. And I might make it, who knows?